Shukuru wananchi wote wa Kenya nikiwa mmoja wao kwa sababu ya Jamhuri Day. Unajua tumekaa miaka mingi tukiomba Mungu atuweke pamoja nchi ya Kenya. Na mimi naona Jamhuri Day iliweka signal mzuri kwa nchi mzima ya kuoneshana that we are remembering we are Kenyans. Nyimbo ambayo zilichezwa za kizerendo it was everywhere in the media ni kama walikuwa wamepangwa lakini walikuwa wamejipanga wenyewe kusherehekea nchi yetu ya Kenya sherehe ilikuwa mzuri peaceful hatukukuwa na mambo ya ma accident na watu walifurahia sana hasa niliona station moja ya, ya citizen na i was shocked ile rumba ilikuwa huku wakisherehekea nyimbo ya kitaifa nyimbo za uzerendo nyimbo ambaye zina maana na nyimbo ambaye niliweza hata mimi kujifikiria mara ya pili nikaona i think if also the media and kenyans can pataesa kushangilia kwa njia hiyo inatuweka moyo na roho ya kutuonesha kweli ingawa tunapita mashida mingi lakini ya kenyans Ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii wale waliweza kuona usalendo wa nchi yetu ya Kenya na wanafikiria mambo mengine ya kuendesha ambaye si mazuri can we retreat and think what are we supposed to do kila mtu ajiweke kwa nyumba yake ya mafikirio tujifikirie vile tuliona celebration hiyo nyimbo ambayo ziliimbwa na wale walioweza kutuletea utawala wa nchi yetu ya Kenya uzalendo wao nyimbo zao za siku hizo tusizipoteze ni nyimbo za maana na inashukuru pia rais wetu Ruto ile mambo aliendesha ya jamhuri de mazungumzo wazalendo ambao walijaa na ninashukuru wenye waliweza kuandaa mipangilio hiyo ya kuwa watu wote wakuweka wa, wa nyimbo tofauti tofauti za nchi yetu ya Kenya waliweza kusherekea na kupewa nafasi nyimbo zote mama kayai nani wote all those people we knew before waliweza kutuletea mambo mazuri nyimbo nzuri za nchi yetu ya Kenya ya kutuweka pamoja can we come back on our mind and think this our country and this our country we are just having a small problem or teething problem and the inter- the country has a signal the country is coming up the economy is coming up na umoja wetu unaanza kurudi na tutarudi na tutakuwa pale tulikuwa hii demi tulikuwa naye ikiisha ya serikali ile ilikuweko and you know this a process hii serikali si ya kupindulua ni ya kuchagulua kidemokrasia kwa kwa hivyo yale mambo yalikuwa mazito kwa pandile tukayakuta lazima tugealipa na hii ningezaa kuelezea na Kenya. That's why kodi imekuwa ni lazima. Ili ile deni ilikuweko kwa sababu tulikuweko kwa hiyo serikali sisi wote ukiwa ulikuwa kwa madaraka ama ukiwa kwa madaraka hiyo jukumu lazima tubebe. Na ninashukuru the plan of the president. He has agreed he has agreed to bite the bullet. Kuweka kodi tulipe hiyo madeni yote ilikuweko. Na tukulipa hiyo madeni. Then from there by this year we are going now tutakuwa tumeruka jukumu kubwa sana na tutakuwa tumeingia kwa mambo mengine mazuri sana na nchi kila kitu itakuwa imerudi chini na sio hapa peke yake even in the world Mungu atatusaidia dunia mzima kwa sababu we need each other hata kama ni, duni, ni mambo ile yanapigana vita ya Israel na nini everywhere hii mambo Mungu atarudisha tuwe na amani America wachaguana kwa amani nchi zingine na sisi tuendelee kwa njia ya amani ili tuweze kukaa pamoja ni muhimu sana kujifikiria na kukumbuka that this is our Kenya country and we have no where else we can go and this is the best country if you go to other areas utasikia watu wote wakitamani kuja Kenya nchi zote za Ulaya this is the stepping stone ndio wakitaka kuingia Afrika wana kwanza wanakuja hapa kwa sababu matumaini na bidii ya watu ya Kenya inajulikana ni mambo mazito tukiangazia mashida ile iko for now lakini it is a teething problem 
ukizaa mtoto after one year inakuja kitu inaitwa teething problem chida ya mtoto ya meno hawachi wa mama na baba walale kwa nyumba kuhara kulia kusumbuka all the time putting the whole house pressure that's where we are we are just in the teething problem but we are coming out on that na mambo itakuwa mzuri sana na tuombee pia rais wetu na viongozi wengine na ningeomba wana Kenya tafadhali wale viongozi wako nafikiri kutoka hii mwaka ukiingia Januari hii naingia tuwaombe viongozi wetu wakiwa ni ministers wakiwa ni wajumbe wakiwa ni senators wakiwa ni governors na president wetu hawa ndio wako sasa kwa uongozi let's respect them for now hii vita kidogo kidogo haikosi mmoja mwili atasa kuwa tofauti lakini hiyo sio sababu ya kusema tukondemu nchi yetu tukondemu ma ministers yote tukondemu ma MP wote no they are doing their work and them ndio wako kwa kubadilisha si sheria na kwa kuweka sheria mpya na kuweka mambo mengine judiciary tuiheshimu pia na tujiheshimu sisi kama wana Kenya wazerendo sisi wote tujiweke pamoja by next year ni maombi yangu na ni my dream that this country is going to change i have that dream that this country is starting to change ulikuwa kwa kumlima tumeanza kuteremka na mambo itakuwa mazuri lakini ningeomba watu hii ni mwezi mbaya sana ya christmas ambayo watu they are very busy tukisherekea mambo ya Mungu ya Yesu tujichunge sisi wenyewe tunajua kutakuwa kuzaliwa kwa Yesu kufuka kwa Yesu naomba please kama ni watu wa boda boda take care of the passenger and yourself hii mambo ya kupita ovyo ovyo na kuangusha watu na kukufa if you get the number of the people who have died the boda boda people they have created employment in this country but the same time many people have died so ningeomba tujichunge kwa magari kwa madereva na kupeleka gari ukua mulevi tafadhali don't do that kwenda masafara ya mbali sana na umechoka please you can just even stay where you are na Mungu akubariki na uwe enjoy your christmas kama vile tulifanya kwa hii jamhuri day kwa hivyo kila mtu ajiweke pamoja tuheshimu each other na tuombe na wale wanafikiri pengine wako nje ama amwacho nje we cannot be in all of us at the same time less respect for whatever we are and what we are doing na tuweze kufanya kazi tukua pamoja bloggers wetu tafadhali muhubiri amani patient zetu tuhubiri amani sisi yote wacha tupendane tukae kwa amani tunajua kuna maumivu kuna watu wako hospitali wagonjwa kuna watu wako na shida kwa sababu ya maji mvua ambayo imenyesha kubwa sana but don't forget kuna areas inasaidia sana hiyo mvua kuna areas inaumiza wengine can we balance and say god help us to balance sehemu ile ni mbaya na sehemu ile ni mzuri tunajua kwa sasa actually when we are going for christmas and this one i can say myself and take it to the bank from where i stay in bahati from where i know in rift valley from where i've gone in narok from where i've gone other areas in central and also in western i know christmas hii mungu ametupa chakula hatutakosa chakula ya christmas ya kufurahia na ya kuweza kuweza kujua mungu pia ana mpango ya sisi wenyewe kwa sababu mambo ya mvua nobody can control it's only god kwa hivyo nashukuru na shukuru rais wetu wa kutuongoza kwa njia mzuri 